As you can see, the Unigen 2020 is uh, reassembled and running. Welcome back to this series on the repair of this transceiver. Listening to a conversation on 7050 at the moment. And you can uh, see, I can tell you, that's what happened when you turn the AGC off. So the AGC is working properly. The fast position. It's quite a weak station, that one. Not too much on 40 yet, it's quite early in the morning. Let's go up to the other car. I've got some AM there. What's that net on seven one two five? It's on in the early morning. As you, as you can see, reception of some of the stations is awful. Some is a uh, some are okay. Anyway, that's the sideband, and also you can see the receiver end for metal tuning is working while it's here. Rf gain is working okay. Attenuators are right. Anyway, this was going to be the last video in the series on this transceiver repair, but I found that the uh, ALC is not working on transmit, so even though I can align the transmitter properly with a two-tone generator and get a reasonably linear waveform, in a QSO with a friend of mine, he said as the uh, conversation went on, I started to get distortion in my signal, so I'll have to uh, find the cause of that. Just a few things worth mentioning though at this stage. Uh, careful when you're working on these transceivers, putting things back together, that all the different switches that are uh, operated by this band select switch are in alignment with each other with the chain drive mechanism because uh, it's easy to have one of them one position out. The same goes with this pre-select. They will have to be replaced, those sprockets or gears on this, because they're starting to crack. I'll leave a link to the fellow who's already gone through all that and has got a wonderful description. I'll do a more complete alignment of the radio when I replace them, but I've got to get something to replace them with first. WWV 15 megs, because the core was screwed too far down in that transformer by previous owner. Uh, being down on sensitivity doesn't matter so much, because they're all strong stations on 15 megs. The signal generator which I was aligning this with, I'm going to make a modification to to make it easier to use, so I'll do a video on that. I hope you like that the uh, videos are now in high definition, in 16x9 and 1080 rather than 4x3 and 480. And I uh, wish you happy 2018 as well. This is just an update, and uh, we're getting closer to the end, at least now because the circuit boards plug in and make good contact and the uh, preamp section is actually working properly and not just modified for 80 meters. Finding faults like the ALC problem and there's also a, a bit of a loading problem on 80 meters as well, we need more capacitance. Um, they're easier to find now, before there were so many symptoms from the problems that were in the radio that had nothing to do with normal faults, um, that it was very very hard to find anything. But now at least it's got back to the, the normal stage where things, if they want to operate correctly, can operate correctly. And uh, that makes much easier fault diagnosis. Anyway, we'll see you in the next uh, one in this series. All the best and bye for now.